It was the end of the Phillies' playoff runs. It was the end of that five-year stretch of feeling like you were going to win the World Series. It's wild to think about it. Roy Halladay pitched a phenomenal game. The Phillies lost one to nothing. Matt Carpenter held the Phillies to three hits, two by Shane Victorino, one by Chase Utley. And when you go back to that game, Halliday got uh, not beat up by any means, but he got hit around in that first inning. He only allowed, I think, two hits in the first inning, but the first hit of the game was a triple by Rafael Furcal, who was brought home by a ship sc Skip Shoemaker on an RBI double. And that was the only run of the ball game, and it happened two batters in. Oh, 2011, what a year. And that was the end. And I remember thinking, you know, hold on. The Phillies just got all this great pitching. You mean to tell me when they get all this great pitching, they're not going to win the World Series? Are you serious? That's not how it works. You got the great pitching, you win the World Series. Didn't happen like that. It's just the way it went down, unfortunately. It was heartbreaking. It sucked to watch that era just dwindle uh, away and watching guys like Chase Utley and Jimmy Rollins and Ryan Howard and uh, Carlos Ruiz even to an extent. Like watching those guys, just watching their skills deteriorate as they got older and rightfully so, or maybe an injury was mismanaged, Ryan Howard, uh, as things went on there. And it's just crazy to think about the fact that they're going to be back in the postseason today against that same st louis cardinals team and when i say same i mean totally different with the exception that albert Pujols is still playing for the cardinals well he's back with the cardinals he hasn't been with them since then obviously with the angels but it's just crazy to think about it uh to go back to that time period and now uh ben francisco if you remember he was a member of that phillies team it's insane there's names you can go back to john mayberry jr uh, there's so many names you can go back to from that roster. They're just kind of literally peculiar. Ross Glowed. Thinking about some of those names from back in the day. Ryan Matson pitched in that game. He came on in relief of Roy Halladay. Phillies are back postseason today. Hopefully you'll be at a bar. Maybe you'll be at the game. But whatever you're doing. Maybe you'll be a kid in school today. Somehow magically listening or watching if you got the world's coolest teacher right before dismissal. Phillies game will be up on the TV somewhere and you can watch the Phillies in the postseason. To all the kids that have been waiting for this moment that have never seen the Phillies in the postseason or aren't even old enough to remember. I think about that. Like if you're a 14 year old today, like what are you calling back to like when you were three years old? I remember that game against uh, Matt Carpenter. Ah, you know what really pissed me off? I don't get mad when they do the jersey exchanges at the end of football games or when, the, like, after a game, the, the team is yucking it up with the other team. Like, I don't get mad at that. Uh, you played with a lot of these guys in college or against them in college. You knew them from growing up or whatever it might be. These guys are your friends. You have a personal moment, and you go back to the locker room, and that's where you get pissed off again. But you know what? For whatever stupid reason, you know what pissed me off? Roy Halladay and Matt Carpenter, after that game, I want to say it was like maybe a week after the World Series that the Cardinals won. Maybe a week after the World Series, Matt Carpenter and Roy Halladay posted a picture of them bass fishing together. And I was like, God, why? I was so unjustifiably pissed off when I saw that picture. I was like, eh, not, that doesn't make me feel good. Don't like it. Love you, Roy Halladay, but I hate this picture. Um, but anyway, so we hopefully exercise those demons today against the St. Louis Cardinals and start this off with a win against Jose Quintana, uh, who will get the start for the Cardinals today. Quintana, uh, here's what you got, ladies and gentlemen. You got Zach Wheeler going up. You know him. You love him. Uh, hopefully he pitches a fine game today. He's dominated the Cardinals this year, which is nice to see. Jose Quintana in one start against the Phillies. He got no decision. He went five and two-thirds, scoreless, allowing four runs in that – or excuse me, four hits in that ball game. Uh, he hasn't pitched in the playoffs since 2017. He's a 33-year-old lefty. He pitched for the Cubs the year after they won the World Series. He was a deadline acquisition, and he pitched – in the 2017 playoff run for the Chicago Cubs that ended with the divisional round of the playoffs. And he actually took the loss in that last playoff game in 2017 for the, uh, for the Cubs. Um, the, uh, the last time uh, I believe it was that he pitched against uh, the last time he pitched in the playoffs, uh, he allowed uh, six earned runs <laughs> in two innings. That's the set I was trying to get you. Uh, so, hey, hopefully just more of that. 
Just more of that. Just get shelled in the first two innings of the ball game, and we'll see how that goes after that. However, I will say just to give you a couple of backstory, a little backstory there on uh, Jose Quintana. Uh, over the last six starts, he's allowed three earned runs. Over his last six starts, he hasn't allowed more three or more runs in a start since July fifteenth. So he's on a nice run. Let's just call it that. Phillies bats hopefully come alive against the lefty today. What- 